Hey everyone, Rich from Center Car Care here. As you can tell, we're not in our normal detail bay, but rather in my laundry room. There's a lot of misconceptions about the right way and the wrong way to wash a microfiber. So stick along with us and we'll cover both today. A first step that's often overlooked, but can make your life a lot easier, is just get yourself four of these bins to separate the towels as you're using them. So what I see a lot of people do is they'll end up putting them all in the same bin, but then you're forced to separate them as you're washing them. But if you had a towel that was sitting there with tire shine on it, next to a window towel, then you have those two chemicals mixing and that's not good to be having them combined in the wash. So start out with having four separate of these. You're gonna have one for drying towels, one for your all-purpose towels, another one for wax removal or coating removal towels, and then finally one for your window towels. All right, so we got the wax and sealing towels that I use. We're gonna start with those. I like to throw those in, and then you wanna get yourself a detergent that's free and clear or a microfiber specific detergent. Pour that in on top of there. When you choose a cycle for the wash, you wanna make sure you're not using any of the steam cycles because that high heat will be able to melt the microfibers. So you wanna go and select one that has no high heat to it. We use a towel setting. And over here, we're gonna change the temperature over to cold. You keep the spin high, normal soil level with these ones. And then if you'd like, you can add an extra rinse just to make sure you're getting all those detergents and extra contaminants out of the towels. And then from there, you just start it up. For this one, we use a cold cycle, but you can also use warm if your towels are more soiled. But again, stay away from the hot, extra hot or the steam cycles in your washer to make sure you're not melting any of the fibers inside those microfibers. Make sure you don't use any kind of dryer sheets or fabric softener when you're washing your towels because that fabric softener will actually bind to the fibers in the microfiber, reducing the static cling that it has. So that won't actually allow it to pick up any dirt or contaminants as well as it could before, as well as it'll affect the towel's absorbency. All right, the washer's all finished up. Let's transfer these over to the dryer. Grab these out. So you wanna make sure the lint trap here is fresh and clean every single time. You don't want any kind of the lint from previous garments to be backfilling back into the dryer and ending caught inside your microfiber towels. Then you're going to select a, a cycle. It's really important on the dryer, more important than the washer to make sure you're not introducing any kind of high heat. So if your dryer has any kind of steam cycles, you want to avoid those. Select it over. This one still, you'll see the towel setting actually still has this red bar. So that's still a, a steam cycle. We want to avoid that. We're going to go down to air dry here. Now, if your washer allows you to change the temperature on the air dry, you can use low heat, but you certainly don't want to have medium high or high heat involved at all because that'll be melting the fibers in the microfiber. I'm gonna try and draw a little analogy here to show you kind of what's going on with the microfibers. Now, this is just a piece of paracord. With a paracord, it has 11 more smaller cords inside of it, and then those even break down even to smaller fibers. If you break this up into the fibers, that's gonna be kind of resembling what a microfiber would look like when it's at the microscopic level, having tons of tiny little fibers like that. So if you were to introduce any kind of high heat, now this is obviously obsessive with using a flame, but it would hopefully draw a good analogy for you. See, even having any kind of heat to it will start to melt those tiny fibers. And then those hardened pieces of plastic will end up scratching your paint or any other kind of surfaces you're trying to clean rather than the dirt being coming embedded inside all those fibers. So that's what we're looking to avoid here. Okay, so we're gonna try and do a quick demonstration to show the difference between a properly clean microfiber and one that has not been properly cleaned. So this one, we followed the cleaning process that we demonstrated today. And this one right here, we washed with hot water, dried with hot air. We used detergents with scents and dyes in them, and we've even added dryer sheets to it. So we're gonna show you what you can expect when you improve your process to using a microfiber specific washing process. So we'll spray on a little bit of invisible glass here. And then this first one we're gonna use is gonna be the one that was washed improperly. This has the dryer sheets and the detergents on it. As you can see here, the microfiber that had the fabric softener developed streaks and even some puddling where it wasn't able to absorb all the liquid. All right, so we're gonna try this again now with a properly clean microfiber and show you the difference. As you can see, the towel that's been properly cleaned is much more absorbent, doesn't create streaks, and wipes the surface nice and clean. All right, so if you follow those steps, you should have yourself a fresh batch of nice clean towels. Let us know in the comments if you have any tips or tricks that work well for you. See you in the next one.